Today I want to introduce the uh, Closure Zipper. Uh, how many of you has used the Zipper? Okay, yeah. So, uh, or <coughs> anyone use the Zipper from Haskell? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Haskell, actually the Zipper is from the functional per, then someone, uh, I think, First, uh, introducing Hus from Haskell, uh, as I know. Um, <coughs> okay, uh, they say zipper is an idiom that uses the idea of context to do the means of manipulation locations in a data structure. Actually, I <laughs> it take me quite some time to understand uh, what is a zipper, um, how to use it. Um, from my experience, actually, I, I think uh, to understand the zipper, you, you need to know the shape uh, of the <coughs> data, uh, like how, how, how it's shaped with the zipper. So today I want to demo this. Uh, so first, um, I want to um, <coughs> talk about the vector zip. Um, actually, it's um, introduced by uh, core. Um, when you see it first time, actually, it's quite weird how you imagine uh, these kind of vectors can have some relationship with the zipper. Um, I, it took me weeks <laughs> to understand uh, what, what it looks like. Then I, I find somebody actually to generate the graph with this. So I. <clears throat> so you, you can see the uh, vector data structure. Actually, if we graphed it, um, it's like a tree structure. So the uh, top vector, the you, you can see actually it's the root. Um, <clears throat> of other, it's a child. So you can see the top, uh, the top one is the full vector. Then uh, the first uh, element is its um, first child, then it's siblings. Uh, because this siblings is a vector, so it has its own child. Itself is a, a second level root, then it has a child A and B. So it also has siblings uh, two, three, and also uh, another vector, 40, 50, 60, uh, has their own children. So after we um, gra graphic, use the graphic, we can more understand what, what, what this zipper means. Actually, zipper is, um, from my understanding, zipper is uh, um, tools help you to manipulate the trees. The good thing, it's uh, compared to the work Actually, you, you can get the, that's we can see from its definition, it's context, it has context. For example, uh, for the root, you can directly know its children. From its children, you actually you can know who is its parent, who is their left siblings, right siblings, all this with. So it's, then it come to make sense. It's like a zip, it can be zipped together. Okay, Lib itself provides us also uh, some functions to uh, handle, uh, to <coughs> traverse it. For example, this is a root function. Uh, it's a, if you see the root of this zip, you can see actually it's the vector itself. Then we can see some of their, its children. Uh, so for example, I go down one level, then go right, then shoot the node, it's the AB. So I go down one level, actually the <coughs> go down, it gets to the leftist child. Then I get to the right, actually it's the siblings, AB vector. So you can see here. If I do more, I go to the right again. You can see it's go to the two. I do twice. Uh, 
it get to the 40. I go to twice means I move there for, uh, till the, sorry, till the, this vector, uh, 40, 50, 60, then go down one level. It get to the left is a child, uh, it's, which is 40. So th that is uh, about the vector zip. Any questions so far? Okay. So we, we come to a more complex one. Uh, it's a map zip. Um, actually, there, there's no uh, core function for that. For a map, actually, you can, um, it can be much complex. So you need to define its shapes. For example, uh, for this kind of map, uh, <clears throat> we can see we, uh, zip actually has, um, when you define a zip, it it's needs three kinds of information. Uh, one is a branch. It m tells whether this node uh, has children. It's, uh, then it needs a children uh, method, which actually to retrieve the children from the uh, node. Then it has a make node. Uh, this one is more useful when you uh, manipulate or edit the node, then <clears throat> it will use this function to regenerate the node for you. Uh, so for this uh, map, uh, we can see, we say if it's a map, then it uh, will have a children. It will be have uh, more branch. If it's a uh, value, you can see the nth x1 is a val its value is a, uh, map, then it will have the children. Then its children is uh, the <coughs> map itself or its uh, value. So we can see the picture. Sorry. Ah. So you can see that this is the uh, Actually, this is a zipper um, <coughs> structure uh, visualized. So the map will be the root, then it's the first child, it will be A3, uh, then the second is uh, B, then since B's uh, value is also a uh, map, so it also will uh, be a, a <coughs> node with a child, which will be branched. Okay, uh, so it's the same, so we can see its root. Uh, you can see if we say it's, who is your root, it will show the full map. And its children. We say we go down one level, then we go right. It's the um, <coughs> um, key with the B map. Uh, so far, any questions? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so ne next, I, I want to show something that's uh, used in the real world, uh, not, not uh, just some examples. Uh, first, uh, one, uh, <clears throat> first thing I used Zipper actually is for the XML processing. Um, it's a very convenient to collect the information from the XMLs. Um, at that time, I have an application which actually calls the Singapore government's uh, APIs, which download the XML, then travels it to get all the information. So below is a very simple uh, example. For example, this, um, there's a DIV which uh, contains two links uh, then we can pass it, then we can make it a uh, XML zip. So you can see the structure. So it's actually it will be passed with all the maps, like well, what is the tag, what's the attribute, what is the content. So to get uh, all the uh, if you want to retrieve all the URLs from this you can do this. Actually, you, 
um, Zipper also has some uh, children. It will say, I will say, I get all the children of the root, which is all the uh, anchor tags. Then I get in all the attributes and the, um, the URLs. So you can see I get a list of uh, URLs from this um, uh, DOM element. <coughs> so that's the uh, one useful thing. So if you know the structure of the XML, then you can do these things. You can get all the children, or left siblings, or every node. <coughs> then you can easily uh, retrieve the information from the XML. Any questions or no? OK, I move. So the next thing is um, actually Zipper can be used to uh, manipulate some DSLs. Um, <clears throat> in some book called Closure Recipients, they actually they use the, um, because uh, the datomic, they use it to manipulate the datomic uh, schema definition. Because datomic schema definition is very verbose, all the vectors. So, and also you need to repeat uh, so many, actually it's default things. So uh, some people make some DSL, it's, um, just to give some top level definition, then give it a child, then use the zipper to traverse it, then to <clears throat> uh, make some default uh, definitions uh, of the schema uh, inside to can be cascading down. Uh, actually, recently we, we also start some work to make some DSLs ourselves. Uh, it's some simple example. For example, um, you, you want to um, define some draw control language. Uh, <clears throat> so for example, you, you decide it will be like a tree structure. You, you will define some root jobs to doing some in initialization. Then it will have some children jobs, uh, <clears throat> but the children can be run parallelly. They can have some uh, child jobs. So <clears throat> how you, um, from this DSL, how, for example, you want to collect the um, drops, all the drops uh, included in this DSL. Sometimes you also have some um, kinds of uh, jobs, like you get all the siblings, so you can parallelize them. So you can use Zipper to do the similar jobs. So for this uh, simple uh, language, for example, you can tell it uh, anything has a control children will be the uh, a root node. Then its children includes all the, <coughs> all the job. Uh, this includes all the children. Then uh, how to make, uh, this is a simple make of the node. So we, we can have some uh, helper functions. It can uh, <coughs> iterate uh, the whole structure, use the next, which do the depth first traverse. Then you take tier the end flag, then uh, to return all the nodes. So in this, so here <coughs> I call this function, so you can see uh, it will return you all the Jobs we defined from the root, then it's part one, uh, it's part one's child, part two. You even can do the um, children of the, <coughs> like, uh, children, DSL. For example, it's children, so you can get all its children, which can be parallel run. So you, you, you can assign the task, for example, to some scheduler or some something. Yeah. So that, that's, <laughs> that's all I want to share. So any questions or?
أو Zip with lenses. Yes. Actually, lens for me is a structure which you used to um, get something. You, you retrieve the internal things, or you um, setting like a, a set the in, uh, deep structure. Uh, but um, zipper is more for the tree structure. You traverse, traverse. Uh, Zipper, one issue that I was like when I'm in the middle of a tree, um, I, I I would like to only traverse this subtree. Yes. Because if I if I use something like iterate as zipper next, mm -hmm. it would it would go on to the next subtree after finishing this subtree. Uh, but even you do this normally, you need to get to the point, right? Even you want to uh, traverse the subtree, you need to get to the point. So, to the, to the top of the tree, the root. Ah, you, you go to the root. That, that's a, you, you can do the same. Means you can go to the child, find its child, then make it another zip. That, that's the most brutal method. Oh. You, you go there, then you make it another zip. Then you come from there, you, you do the, your things. Oh. Zip actually gives you the location context. So you can go down, go right. You, if you know your structure very clear, then that's very uh, convenient to use. Uh, do you make, uh, let's say you were giving you uh, were given a location, you make a change to the, to the Yes, zip has the edit. Uh, so you, you travel there, you edit. Uh, then when, when you come back, you, you return the new, uh, <coughs> it will return you the new nodes. Actually, the make nodes is f a function like that. So when you edit something, it's use your new children to make the new node for you. Thanks.